Welcome everyone to Pure Bliss Akram YouTube channel, latest news. Uh, today I wanted to, to chat with you about the uh, complications connected to type 1 and type 2 diabetes and how Ayurveda can help you overcome them and can obtain better quality of life and peace of mind. So uh, I am a consultant, Ayurvedic consultant and iridologist. I specialize in uh, metabolic problems and challenges and also with uh, type 1 and type 2 diabetes. So uh, what are the facts are that from, uh, from 1980 to 2014, we have four times more diabetics living on this planet. You know, I don't know if you know uh, how diabetes is called uh, the, the second name, the nickname that it has. Uh, the nickname is the silent killer. You know why? It is a silent killer because slowly elevating sugar levels in your blood, it uh, um, degenerates your key organs such as kidneys, liver, heart, thyroid, eyes, blood vessels, circulation. And uh, very often, if you don't take care of uh, diabetes and elevated sugar levels, after many years, you may have even chopped uh, feet, so amputation. And that's why it's so important to take care of yourself, to really uh, watch your sugar levels and to, uh, to go to your doctor and follow the prescriptions. Uh, yeah, the, the allopathic or the Western medicine, as we sometimes call it, uh, approach is uh, monitoring the, uh, the blood sugar levels. Usually you do it with a glucometer or with a sensor in your arm, with diet, with low carbohydrate and uh, no easily uh, absorbable glucagon or the uh, simple sugars limited simple sugars and with low-fat animal protein exercising and swimming but um, that uh, it sounds good but it sounds very uh, very basic uh, you, I don't know uh, if you read the latest statistics that uh, for a type 1 diabetic this is the autoimmunological condition type 2 it's more insulin resistance uh, around 30% of diabetics end up with somehow some form of a thyroid problem. And what do you do this? So what do you do then? Uh, you go to a doctor and you probably get uh, synthetic hormones and it goes and it goes and it goes. So um, in that in that case, um, I uh, from also from my own experiences uh, believe that uh, Ayurveda, also known as a traditional Indian medicine, can work very well together with Western medicine, uh, presenting uh, for you the uh, daily regime, the herbal supplements, vitamins and minerals that are very easily absorbable that can really help to strengthen uh, and your body and protect your organs. So um, uh, the, the approach uh, that, uh, first of all, uh, what I also like about Ayurveda is that every, any disease or every disease, disease on this planet is divided into three main categories. Um, and then variation of the three categories. So if you are diabetic, but you have more vata in you, more element of the, uh, of the air and uh, space, then you have fluctuation in uh, appetite, then you have fluctuation in the absorption of insulin levels. And that makes it very difficult uh, to manage uh, day after day uh, consistently uh, good sugar levels and diabetes. Then if you have more of a protein, of a pita type of uh, uh, characteristic for your disease, then you have more fire, you burn through all the medications, uh, you also have more muscles, so that helps you with metabolizing of the carbohydrates. Uh, 
And then, but then you can have also too much acidicity in your entire constitution, in your system, and that can also create problems. Tipo arthritis or rheumatoidal uh, infections or uh, many different uh, conditions that are not only related to metabolism, but also related to skeleton. And in, in case if you have more of a, a kapha type of uh, um, diabetes, then you have a slower metabolism, you have phlegm, and you need probably twice as much medication as a patient that has vata and herbs. So, uh, what do we do in uh, Ayurvedic clinics? In Ayurvedic clinics, first, we decide, we talk to you and we have an interview and we make sure that we know what your constitution is that you were born with and what is the, uh, the imbalance, the dominating imbalance right now in your in your body are you totally uh, your resources your minerals are totally exhausted you're more vata or are you burning and you have a lot of uh, acidic toxins in your body or you have phlegm and more uh, slower metabolism so once we have the uh, this decided then we set up uh, the uh, long-term uh, treatment and that treatment is uh, divided into a couple of uh, elements first you have prescribed prescribe herbs. Uh, one of my favorite herbs, uh, also called the uh, uh, sugar killer, is gurmar. Uh, so uh, basically, if you drink 15 to 30 minutes before a meal, it stabilizes your post-meal uh, glucose level. Uh, and uh, this medicine is also, this, this herb is also very wonderful for uh, type 2 diabetics because very often uh, type 2 uh, also have uh, candida in their intestine. And because they have candida, you know that our intestine is our second brain. And that means that uh, you get information through your main brain that you need more simple sugars. And uh, the circle goes, you need more sugars, you have elevated sugar, you go down on energy and you also uh, exhaust your thyroid functions. So Gurmar helps you in controlling those cravings. You can also have Carabella or other medications that also work uh, wonderfully depending on the, uh, the need and the constitution that you have right now. Uh, you, uh, uh, Ayurveda has also many different uh, formulas uh, for diabetics that not only uh, stabilize sugar level or post-meal sugar level, but also protect your, uh, your kidneys, protect your eyes, uh, cleanse your blood, and uh, work wonderfully uh, with your liver, like uh, turmeric. Uh, okay, so you have the uh, you have constitutions. You know what your constitution, your uh, characteristics of the disease. Then you have the herbs prescribed. Uh, then your imbalances and uh, what do we need to work on? And here in this, uh, beside Ayurveda that does miracles, you also uh, I'm also iridologist, so I can tell based on your ivories right and left what are deficiencies and uh, what you really need to work on in your body and uh, one of the minerals that uh, i love uh, and i take is uh, shilajit this is the asphaltus punjabinus and um, uh, active charcoal much more than active charcoal but also from himalayas that has uh, manganese, manganese uh, some iron in it and uh, zinc, which is very important uh, for the proper um, absorption of insulin for diabetics. Or uh, fruits, dry fruits, like for instance, the uh, amalaki or amala. This is the dry um, or fresh, if you can take it, extremely sour uh, Indian gooseberry. It's so sour. I try to eat it fresh once. It's like uh, tasting. Uh, hundred uh, juice of made of hundred concentrated uh, lines uh, but it's it's very easily absorbable and it also does a miracle for the uh, the regeneration of your bowel and bowel movement and absorption in the bowels uh, if you want to know more about the, the mineral cell vitamins please read my my article on our website
Uh, so we have minerals and vitamins taken care of uh, after the consultation. We go to the protecting of the endangered uh, organs. So as I said, thyroid it's, uh, very, uh, needs to be really protected. You have herbs for that. You also have yoga a position that improves uh, blood circulation to thyroid. Kidneys, uh, you have uh, diuretic herbs uh, and uh, nephroprotective herbs. Eyes, uh, wonderful th thing you probably heard and ate. Ghee, clarified butter, and um, ghee with, uh, with trifala at night. And liver, for that you have many, many medications, many professional uh, herbs such as kutki, kutki but you also have uh, more uh, easily accessible, like uh, the, the yellow special uh, turmeric. So uh, once you also know how to protect your main organs and which organs are really endangered because uh, the, the type uh, one or type two diabetic that has uh, exhaustion and fluctuations in energy uh, reacts differently and needs probably different uh, herbs and different organ protection than the uh, the kapha type of individual that has slow metabolism, has a lot of mucus in the bowel and uh, very thick blood and lymph. And they also have totally different uh, immunosystems. So once you have this, the next level, level it's exercising. You need exercising to improve your blood flow to your limbs, to your inner organs, and of course, to speed up your metabolism. And we also in Ayurveda have uh, special formulas like Trikatu that uh, helps in speeding up your metabolism in case if you are Kapha and have slower metabolism, not in case if you are Vata and has already too fast metabolism. And of course, uh, my favorite daily routine, you need to know where to eat, what meals, for instance, the main meal in Ayurveda should be between 12 and 2 p.m. And why? Because at that time you have pita, you have a lot of fire in you, and that fire helps you metabolize, digest most of the things you eat. Besides, from if you eat at 1 or 2 p.m., your main meal, then you have many hours to really digest it before you go to sleep. And we know that uh, going to sleep with full stomach is very, very bad for, uh, for all the organs and for yourself and your, for your weight and for your beauty. So, uh, so this is this is what uh, what Ayurveda helps in cases of chronic problems, chronic diseases like diabetes. And uh, I uh, wanted to share with you all of this. Uh, please read my article at Pure Bliss Arkram Latest News. And this is the uh, diabetes collaboration with allopathic medicine. Uh, if you want to talk with me more, you can send me an email or you can schedule a consultation. And uh, please visit our website and stay healthy and enjoy a beautiful life. Namaste. Take care. Bye.